How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Back again with some more YouTube content here on my channel here. So more Bitful today on X posted this photo that shows WWE wrestlers Chavo Guerrero and Chris Benoit together just at a bar, just having a good time before Chris Benoit would do the unthinkable. And then two days after what he did, Chris Benoit took his own life. Uh, and because of what Chris Benoit did, that's the real reason why he's never going to be inducted into WWE Hall of Fame, if we're being honest here. That's the main reason why. And even CM Punk himself, said that that's the main reason why uh, Chris Benoit uh, won't ever be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame and, and why since that since that incident, WWE have basically distanced themselves from Chris Benoit's name and I guess the name Benoit and all that. Uh, so basically it shows here Chris Benoit and Eddie and uh, why did I say Eddie? My bad. I meant Chavo Guerrero just, you know, at a bar and all that. Uh, and, uh, you know, this photo actually is just uh, circulating all over X. And this is the first time that I've actually seen a photo of Chris Benoit. That's right. So if you people want to see the photo yourself, you know, well, obviously you can see on my screen here, but I'm going to leave a link below to the uh uh, post uh, if you people want to see the photo for yourself because yeah this is just one of those photos where uh, we just uh, discovered after all these years that's right so here basically as you can see it's a very blurry photo here but you could tell you know Chavo Guerrero and Chris Benoit just having a good time together at a bar and it's just crazy to think how Chris Benoit just ended up doing what he did and the biggest thing I'm wondering here is was Chris Benoit and Nancy's a marriage like at a point of no return or what happened because obviously was something going on inside the house that we don't know basically meaning that uh, was uh, the marriage between Chris uh, and uh, Nancy like uh, at a point where it seemed like it was headed for a divorce or something because it just doesn't make sense for Chris Benoit to do what he did because obviously he had a career and all that uh, and uh, it's just uh, it's just surreal to think that a wrestler like Chris Benoit could stoop so low and do something so heinous and horrible and I guess by the time Chris Benoit but Obviously, uh, you know, I'm not a psychologist here, but what I've, but you know, I I've read a psychology book uh, when I was going to high school and all that. Uh, and what I could tell you here is that Chavo or Chris Benoit likely, uh, you know, was in a fit of rage when he did those really horrible acts. And then by the time he recovered from his uh, fit of rage, he was likely in a state of shock and he realized he was going to be facing legal consequences because of what he did and all that. And yeah, it's just, uh, it's just unreal to think how, you know, Chris Benoit could do something like that. Like, because obviously Chris Benoit, he had everything, you know, he had a wife, he had a house. Uh, so Chris Benoit, it looked like he was living a awesome life, but I guess you could say that reality tells a completely different story because, you know, um, this photo was taken in June 2007, that's right. So I don't know the exact time in June 2007 that this photo was taken place, but all I just do know is that... Uh, this is the first time I ever saw a photo uh, a photo of uh, Chavo Guerrero and Chris Benoit because obviously Chris Benoit, he was best friends with Eddie Guerrero and then when Eddie Guerrero died, Chris Benoit, he was very devastated because I still remember watching that uh, watching that interview of where Chris Benoit just broke down crying when he uh, was paying tribute to Eddie Guerrero and I do still remember watching that video of where Edge paid a uh, tribute to, uh, where Edge paid a tribute, I guess, to Chris Benoit, uh, even after uh, Benoit did those uh, murders and all that. But I mean, I I just find it extremely shocking, you know, how Chavo, I mean, how, why do I keep saying Chavo? I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to say Chris Benoit here, but obviously with Chris Benoit here, what he did was just absolutely unforgivable. That's, uh, like I said, what Chris Benoit did is the real reason why he was never and why he will likely never, ever be inducted into the uh, WWE Hall of Fame because I know the story about the Benoit family tragedy, but what I still am trying to wonder here is, uh, you know, like, was Benoit's and Nancy's marriage like, was there something going on inside their marriage or no? Because obviously I watched the uh, Chris Jericho podcast where, you know, prior to his death, Chris Benoit, believed he was being stalked that's right that's apparently what Chavo Guerrero said when uh when I was watching that podcast of, of that a uh, talk is Jericho podcast when Chris Jericho you know talked about or where Chris Jericho gave Chavo Guerrero a uh, a chance to basically talk about like what happened and especially on the nights that Eddie died apparently he had a toothbrush in his hands too from all the details I heard in the podcast um 
and all that stuff but one detail i do remember about the chris benoit tragedy is that benoit he believed he was being followed by somebody but it's like uh you know i despite that i'm, I'm still saying that it was benoit who did the uh, murders because it's like uh, you know like for for nancy and for daniel to just suddenly have their lives cut short like that is just extremely shocking because it's like nancy and uh it's like i can only imagine how how horrific the final moments must have been for Nancy and for Daniel because it's like it doesn't make sense why Chris Benoit would just snap like that and do that it's like bro what the hell like I'm sorry but for Nancy and for Daniel to lose their lives is just fucked up I I, I don't get it I really don't get it but uh, basically all I wanted to come on here because I feel like I've rambled long enough here but thought I would just come on here and show you people this uh picture here that um that that a more bitful post on X today of what shows Chavo Guerrero and Chris Ben Watts in what appears to be uh, one of the final last ever known pictures of Chris Ben Watt before before he did the unthinkable. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and see ya.